don't think people need to be afraid of cooking with wood. The wood's not going to jump out and get you. The advantage to wood grilling is unparalleled flavor. If you have a gas grill and you want to get awesome flavor in your food, you need some wood chips. Hickory um, is great. Mesquite is really good. Mesquite? Oh. Oh. That right there can just make your food taste that much better. It's like the non-ingredient that is an ingredient. Oh, man. The top do's and don't of cooking with wood. Being able to keep your fire going. So as your wood is cooking down, throw in some more logs. Don't let it come to a complete halt. Adam, you got a high fire over there, bro? Make sure you stay in front of your product. Because if you throw some wood under there and you walk away and you put your product on there, you're going to have a problem. To me, grilling on wood is the only way to grill. This grill is just banging. It imparts so much flavor and taste and depth of flavor to the food. The key to wood burning grills, you always have a hot side and a cool side. So you get the meat charred and then you move it over and you let it finish. Wood fire grill is like the best of camping and all that smokiness combined with the control that you'd have with a great grill. Come on kids, really want to take advantage of that smokiness and the wood flavor. Whenever I can kind of cover up our food and get that smokiness to just play around and circle it up and just get infuse into the food we're cooking, I want to make sure I do that. Oh, let me check these, yikes. You have to listen to the grill. The grill does not listen to you. Okay, keep going, baby. As delicious as the food can be on a wood fire grill, you have to execute it just right. I want this to go up to 160. You have to manage your food and manage your temperature much more carefully on a wood fire grill. The difficulty in grilling with wood is that there's no knobs on your grill. But, I mean, it's, it's my absolute favorite way to cook. <laughs>